Okay, so uh, I covered Kavanaugh's speech uh, for about an hour yesterday, but uh, let's do a quick recap of the entire thing. First off, uh, Christina Blasey Ford came out and Republicans wanted to tear her a new one. They, they really did. But she came out very composed, very calm, gave a very clear speech, uh, a very clear statement. And when they tried to rip it apart, it was very, very clear that she was telling the truth. So Republicans have gone from, well, no, this is clearly a lie and just a witch hunt. Damn them, Democrats, to, OK, no, this, this is very credible. This, this actually happened. But it wasn't Brett. It's mistaken identity. BS, but OK. Uh, then Kavanaugh came out. He gave his little riled speech, I suppose. Again, the, the whininess of that man does my head in. But it was full of things that are meant to make him relatable rather than actually honest and true. Bringing up his daughters, there's no need to. Bringing up his family and... See, now, I, a lot of people have said it because uh, he was crying. I didn't actually see any tears uh, in, in retrospect, but I, I would say it was crocodile tears. I would say that they were forced. Again, trying to build up that relatable relationship with everyone of, hey, I'm just that good Catholic boy from next door. You know me, I'd never do this. And that, that was his constant defence. He was the good Catholic boy. Reality is very, very different because everyone he went to school with, everyone he went to college with, people that liked him and people that didn't like him were all saying the exact same thing. No, he drank a lot. This man was a drinker. He wasn't the good little Catholic boy who only occasionally drank beer. He got wrecked. So he's, uh, he's definitely misleading people, definitely trying to misleading people. The, the outcome... Uh, of his little speech was annoying to me. Uh, but again, being completely honest, I didn't like the man in the first place. But um, again, going into it, when when he finished giving his little speech, uh, the, the woman, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but the, the same woman that the Republicans used to try to attack and rip apart Christina Blasey Ford started the line of questioning on Brett Kavanaugh. And then Lindsey Graham erupted. Clearly, in, in retrospect, to shut down that line of questioning, because when Lindsey calmed down and they could resume again, that line of questioning did not get picked up again. So that was very, very clearly, stop talking. Stop questioning this man we're done we're done with this and the republicans still voted for brett kavanaugh it's very very clear to me that he did this he is 100 percent guilty when it came up with fbi investigations and and even now talking to people they come up with been investigated six times so so what I've had security checks done against me with my particular line of work and with previous jobs I've had in the past. Not a single once has any security check during the process did they go back to my school and talk to people that I went to school with. It's very, very different. And saying that it's just a, a democratic uh, ploy, a tactic, a political move, no. Democrats have said, no, we can get this done in seven days. We can get this investigation done like that. Seven days before the midterm elections. That rules out it being a political job. That means that they just want the truth. And if Brett Kavanaugh was innocent, he would fully support that 100%. Instead, he's coming out with things like, you know, I, I do whatever the hearing says. But it's ridiculous. I've had six investigations in the past. They've never come up with this. Would you... Submit to a lie detector test. They're, they're inadmissible in a court of law. I mean, I would do it if that's what the committee says, but they're inadmissible. They're unreliable. We can't trust them. In the past, Brett Kavanaugh has praised lie detector tests, polygraph tests, for their use. 
and saying that they are a fantastic way of vetting someone's character for various things, including job, uh, job applications, which is what this is. This isn't a case that will send him to prison. This is a case that could put him into one of the most powerful seats in the country. When it comes to if you want a Republican or a Democrat, there is a long list of other Republicans that will gladly take this spot. But Kavanaugh is their boy. He's the one that they wanted in the first place, and just like Roy Moore, it doesn't matter what comes out, whether it's true, whether it's false, they will support him. But the biggest thing for me, uh, again, because I completely believe Christina Blasey Ford, I completely believe that Brett Kavanaugh tried to rape her. Her story is incredibly credible. Everyone is saying that. Brett Kavanaugh coming out saying, look, four people there completely disagree with her. That's not true at all. Kavanaugh disagrees. The man who attempted the rape disagrees. And Mark Judge, his mate who shut the door and turned the music up so that no one would hear her scream, disagrees. But Ford's mate, uh, I forget her name off the top of my head, she's not saying... No, this didn't happen. All she's saying is the exact same thing that Christina said. I didn't see it happening, but I completely believe Christina. That's it. So you can say that's a lie, you can say that's misleading, but throughout the hearings, Kavanaugh did lie. He lied at least four times, and that is perjury. He was under oath. So you have a judge applying to be supreme uh, applying to become part of the Supreme Court, whose go-to instincts is to lie. He was asked about uh, bluffing, and he said it was farting. No. That's another word for anal. He was brought up about uh, the Devil's Triangle, and he passed it off as a drinking game. No. It's a three-way with two men and one woman. Uh, one woman. Now you can say, sat there, look, this is really embarrassing, but look, that's what these men. We were all stupid kids at that time. It's what stupid kids do. I've grown up since then. This is obviously not the language I use now, but look, that's what it meant back then. That's not what he did. His go-to was to lie. Under oath, he lied at least four times. Now keep in mind... Bill Clinton didn't get impeached because of the affair. He got impeached because he committed perjury. He lied under oath. And that is exactly what Kavanaugh has just done. Republicans are still backing him. Uh, I believe an FBI investigation is underway at the moment. But this man is clearly unfit for that position. You can fill it with a Democrat. You can fill it with a Republican. You can fill it with a poodle from downstairs but the basic fact is this particular man lied under oath that should immediately rule him out of the position my guessing is even after the fbi investigations concluded republicans will still vote for him and still back him just like they did with roy moore